Uh, yeah, it is true. Sometimes I feel so lonely. Sometimes I feel very lonely. And I don't know why. Why is that? I mean, I realize, even if I go out traveling with friends or even family members, I still feel lonely. I feel in solitude. And yes, I mastered to deal with that and being in solitude. I know how to deal with all that and still making myself smile and being in a way happy, but there is something missing deep inside of my heart. There is something or maybe someone missing. Lovely moon. I'm sitting here, somewhere out there, on the forest. Today is, it's so quiet and it feels like the world just stands still. I see the stars, I see you, your beautiful moon, vividly close to me. Like I could wrap my arms around you but it seems so close but it's so far <sighs> you know lovely moon I try my best to be a good human being I try to give and give and give unconditionally without expecting anything in return when I realized at a younger age that I'm a giver, that I'm always making sure people are feeling good around, making them smile, happy, doing some jokes, I am usually the one that is always lighting up the room, but what I realize is while I make other people happy, I look at myself and I'm like, wow. Am I just here to make others happy? Heal the pain of theirs that I didn't cause? What's the point of that? I mean, don't get me wrong. I do it out of love. I'm not doing it for love, I'm doing it out of love. Because I'm just like that kind of man that is truly into blessing others. I feel really, really good when I bless other people. People that I care about, that I truly love. That's why it's so important to me. So, so, so essential to me to take care of the people I truly love and find ways to make more of that and more and more and more. This is something that really fulfills me. I still, especially these lonely nights. It's getting too much. It's like my mind is just exploding with all these thoughts and questions. And I don't have any answer. I look at you and you look back, but I mean, I see your beauty. You shine so bright, no matter in the dark, from afar. You are just there, present for me. And I know, I know, life is tough sometimes and it all... It all is sometimes very challenging and I have to find ways, solutions to make it happen. Yes, I know. But why do I still feel lonely even after 
after all this giving of good energy and love and resources, vision, goals and dreams that I focus on, why do I feel like that it's always getting to the point that I'm like dreaming of this one specific girl somewhere out there somewhere out there I believe she is a girl that is thinking alike Having a great mindset, a pure grey heart, a soul like me. Yeah, I met, I met a lot of girls throughout the years, but it was never, never my intention to get into a relationship with any of them. Why? I will tell you, lovely moon. Because I didn't feel that there is a future when I looked into their eyes. So I kept it always as a friendship or what you say, uh, people that you get to know for a bit and then you, you move on and you don't see them anymore. Yeah, just like that. So I knew from the beginning on of my life since I was able to really think that I will be patient for the right one because I want to give her my love only her to make sure that she knows she's special to me and that I'm willing to wait patiently and while I am patient I am working on my goals and dreams and on myself the most to make my mindset really, really high value, to grow my personality. Yeah, my body, of course, working on my physics. I know in the past few years ago, I was obese, spending time with wrong people that were drinking too much or uh, eating a lot of fast food, stuff like that, uncontrollably. And I learned from that, that environment is key. To spend time with the right people is better than to spend time with people that have no goals in life at all. And luckily I got really, really quick out there. So yes, since then I'm, I'm basically isolating myself and working on my goals and dreams day in and day out. One question, lovely moon. How long will it take for me to meet this beautiful girl that I'm visualizing? A girl that has these values of high quality, that is caring and respectful and loyal. I mean, does she even exist nowadays in this society? This broken society. <laughs> I know that I am very over. <laughs> I am overprotective. It's true. Because I just care so much. And it might be that I'm sometimes way too nice, too kind. But it's a way of showing how, how of a gentleman I am. I feel like most people out there, they think that having someone, like whatever they call it, like a bad boy or something, that is so stupid to me. Why would you date a bad boy that is just mistreating you and making you feel weak and not... Uh, supporting you I like 
I, I don't get it. Most people do that. And when I see that or observe that, them ending up in toxic relationships and being sad and miserable and also then complaining when these uh, toxic people left them, they'd be like, now I hate relationships. Now I hate true love. And I'm like, girl, you don't even see the truth. Why were you so stupid at the beginning just to get into these See? Lovely moon, I don't understand. And honestly, I don't want to be like these bad boys. But like, what a what a word is that? It's ridiculous to me, so I'd rather stay respectful. Just imagine a bad boy being a father. Do you think that this bad boy is for real? A good father treating, raising good children, treating uh, his wife good? <sighs> ah, never. And that's, you can tell me, or people can tell me, oh yeah, people can change, blah, blah, blah. But that's just pure stupidity. And that's why I'm so tired of seeing that. I mean, I can't save everyone. I can't talk to every every human being out there to uh, in personal ways to uh, tell them yeah not to make the stupid decisions to whatever fall in love with a pretty face instead of a pretty heart and soul it doesn't make sense to me so in a way throughout the time i realized i'd rather stay really really single until i meet the right one instead of playing around because i don't want to play around i never i've never been the type of that mm -mm. and i want to thank you moon for understanding and listening to me i mean you're not really really talking back to me but just your presence is helping me and giving me some directions i guess <sighs> But some things are really, really upsetting me for sure. But I promised you that I just focus on the things that I can control. And all these other things and people, whatever, I don't care. I used to care too much. But this was basically just distracting me from my own purpose, my own way, my missions. So that's why I decided while I am being patient... Just working on myself and creating something valuable to the world. Maybe doing some YouTube channel where I create a safe place to provide love and appreciation and give value as well so people can learn and the right ones will listen to that. I mean, even if no one would listen to me, I knew that I do something good and valuable, so I know I do my part and I am keep being faithful. Yeah, in God, of course, in the universe and basically everything godly and holy. But yeah, I guess I gotta go home now. I mean, no one is home. I'm all by myself. But I feel like I gotta go home and create something. And write some things down. To create more value. And help more people. The right ones that deserve it. And this girl that I'm talking about and thinking about all day... It makes me smile though. One day she's coming into my life and I'm going to meet her. I'm going to give her all my love and make sure I provide for her and our future kids for sure. Making sure they live in peace and happy. You know, at the beginning I felt really, really sad. But talking to you, Moon... 
it helped me so much. Now I feel motivated. Now I feel I could hug you and just express my love to you. I feel like I have new energy to keep going on. So thank you so much. And um, talk to you soon.